Hi friends, it's me Nikki here with my updated fridge organization video. We have a new refrigerator. Now we did keep our old refrigerator that is in the garage and the purpose of that refrigerator now is for our meats and also during the summer it's going to be great for my husband to house his briskets. During the holidays it's extra space. So my husband really wanted to keep the other refrigerator and I'm happy that we also did. Now this is the new one. It's the Frigidaire Professional Series line. We love it and I want to take you through to show you how I have it organized and food prepped and I want to kind of share with you my systems and I did groceries today along with I prepped today so it's the perfect time to share this information with you and I had so many requests to do so. Now to start this is an overview of the refrigerator and then I want to take you through each shelf to kind of show you my thought process for organization. I'll link any possible tool, tools or systems should I say that I have here in the description box below, I tried to find as many as I could online any resources for you. So I hope you will find that helpful. But the system works for us because my husband and I are really, really trying to make an effort to eat smarter. And the key to eating smarter is to have your food prepped and ready to go so that when you're hungry, you're not having to try to figure out what to eat or prepare things. They're already ready to go. So let's start from the top shelf here and basically what I house here and you might remember these from my other refrigerator a lot of these uh, kind of bins and things came from that refrigerator but we have one that houses our canned drinks and then we have one for apple juice because I use a lot of apple juice with my smoothies and then I like to drink apple juice and then we have our yogurt here which my husband more so eats the yogurt he likes um, yogurt and so these bins come in really handy everything is easy to see easy to get to and ready to go now now below that on this shelf here I have these stackable bins here along with a small water bin on the side because we like to keep some of our bottled water in the fridge just to have that on hand um, in case guests come over and they want a cold bottle water. Now in the first stackable bin I basically just keep kind of cheese items like just snackable cheese items things that my husband can grab and take to work with him. The second one houses more cooking cheeses like the shredded cheeses and things that are you know to be cooked with and then the last one is like our sandwich bin for my husband to kind of make his sandwiches for work or for home just kind of a sandwich bin and they're great because they're stackable they really save space and you really can fit a lot in that one little space in the refrigerator so it really works out perfect for us so the next shelf here is where I keep my food or meal prep tray here and this is one tray that I put together so that I could prepare the dinner the night before so say I'm having a busy day and I want to prep my dinner ahead of time I get all the items all the ingredients the seasonings all the things to make that recipe and I put it on this tray here that way when it's time to cook I simply pull this tray out and I have everything to complete that meal ready to go this is great for busy families if you're um, a working mom or working dad also if you're having a busy day and not necessarily that I use this tray every day but on those days that I know I'm going to be busy and I want to prep my meal ahead of time this is what I use and the great thing is you can take your meat out if you have to thaw out the meat for dinner you can also incorporate it on this tray here but again I have everything outlined for dinner tonight already prepped already measured out so I can pull this out throw it together saves me time and saves me stress and this is a great thing to save stress also so as for the other side is where we keep our whole milk and juice. I love keeping my juices and milk in containers. And then on the other side is where we keep our tomatoes and herbs and just kind of random vegetables. We eat a lot of vegetables. We eat a lot of fruit. So that's what you'll mainly see in our refrigerator. Now a key thing for all of my containers that need to kind of be marked with expiration dates. I use this chalkboard label which is dishwasher safe. I'll link it in the description box below. But it's easy to just kind of wipe off put the new date on there when I refill with a new carton of milk or whatever the case may be but it just really makes managing my refrigerator easy um it put it on the eggs put it on the jars put it on anything and so that's how I kind of manage that now the next shelf here is where I have my mason jars and you guys are familiar with this and I have them prepped and the reason why these are important and so handy for us is because we can easily get to our food I like making smoothies in the morning so when I'm dragging downstairs I can easily just grab a jar and make a smoothie I can alter it if I want to my husband can grab a jar and go to work and have a salad and it's ready to go and so that makes it easy for us to make smart eating choices I also like to keep jars with just spinach in it because I am a spinachaholic I like to saute it I like to put it in my eggs in the morning I like to just eat it raw I just love spinach and so I keep a couple jars with just spinach in the portion size so that when I'm hungry I just come down here grab a jar 
grab an egg and I'm good to go. And I keep my eggs in this little container here and they really are just convenient. So now I want to take you in the drawers of the refrigerator and this is typically where we house our fruits and our vegetables. Again, we are, that's mainly what we eat is seafood, fruits and vegetables. And so I like to have my fruits and vegetables prepped and ready to go because when I get hungry, I'm ready to go. So if I wanna make a kind of spinach shrimp, mango, kind of sauteed salad, everything is prepped and I'm not having to spend time cutting up and doing a lot of work during the day. You know, if I want um, to make a salad and throw some grapes on it, they're ready to go. And that's the importance of taking that little bit of time each week to kind of prep my refrigerator because now for a week we can go here and get to everything that we want and need and we're not trying to think, oh, what am I gonna eat? Or, oh, let me just grab some cookies because it's easier. Everything is good to go for us to make those smart choices. And I'll put links to the little containers I have here they help keep keep things organized keep things fresh and keep my refrigerator clean because I hate just kind of putting random food in the refrigerator because you tend to have to clean it a lot now I do have some of my kind of broccoli and kind of things in the back there but that's minimal and then I have my chia seeds here that I put in my smoothie every week because every night a day I'm sorry and it's good to have in the refrigerator to keep them fresh so it's so important for me to have these set up because I don't meal plan for breakfast and lunch and things like that. I kind of get up and how I feel or what I want to eat is what I eat. But I have everything prepped here so that I can easily get to it. And I only meal plan for our dinners. Now the drawer here below is where I keep a space open for us to store leftovers when we have any leftovers. And then I have one tray here that kind of holds kind of my kind of like uh, biscuits and pizza dough and puff pastry and things like that. Now on the side of the door, I don't keep anything. I used to keep herbs in those top there, but when I transferred refrigerators, I, I didn't do anything with those. And then here I keep kind of creamers and I keep almond milk there in the larger one. And the other one is too, is uh, coffee creamers, a variety of coffee creamers. And again, the labels are right on the back, the chalkboard labels to make things easy. And then below that, I kind of keep like Greek yogurt, sour cream, those dairy items. And then I have this little container here that I keep our butter in. So that's basically all that's kept on that side of the refrigerator door. And on the other side I keep my condiments and many of you know I like to keep them in squeeze bottles to save space because the bottles that you know condiments come in are all different sizes and shapes and they really take up a lot of space in your refrigerator so I find by putting them in these containers it really helps me save space and I have two of these that are really large that I got from World Market that really and they're actually for cake batter but I use them for kind of my dressing and my mayo because those tend to be a uh, larger condiment items. And they really function well and they're easy to feel so I'm really happy with those and again I got those from World Market and then down here are just randoms pickles and jarred things I kept you know I keep there now this is the overall of the fridge and now I want to take you into the freezer which is a drawer below basics are kept in here because again we have that refrigerator outside that can hold meats and things like that so I basically keep things that I'm keeping on hand for our meals and things like that like frozen vegetables frozen fruit that I use for my smoothies or seafood we eat a lot of seafood and I have these little bins here that help me keep things sorted and organized very basic very simple but functions very well for us and on the side here is where I keep all of our seafood so all of the seafood is actually kept on that side now I haven't kind of figured out this top bin and organized this yet this is kind of a slide out bin but I'm going to be working on that next so this is our refrigerator that it really functions well for us again the key is to prep so that we eat properly you have to figure out what works for you and your family you know this is kind of what works for us and you want to do you know what works for you so I hope you've enjoyed seeing kind of my systems that I use in my home I love being able to share it with you please leave me a comment and like this video if you're enjoying the kitchen series videos I'll see you at the next one and this is Nikki saying goodbye